38 years ago, the world, and especially the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, held its breath after the nuclear accident at Three Mile Island in central Pennsylvania. The accident was caused by a nuclear meltdown in the number two reactor of the plant's generating station. It's considered the most significant accident in American commercial nuclear power plant history. 38 years have passed ownership of that plant has changed from Metropolitan Edison to operation in Chicago. Nuclear power is still a viable choice for energy, but it's facing tough competition from other sources of energy like shale drilling, wind and solar power, and regulatory controls. This past week, Exelon announced that it will speed up the closure of the TMI plant to 2019 because it has lost money for the last five years. It's asking Pennsylvania for financial assistance. So what does this all mean to the future of nuclear power and the nuclear industry, including Westinghouse? Well, back with us this morning is Dr. Gregory Reed. He's director of the Center for Energy and the Grid Institute, the director of Electric Power Systems Laboratory, and professor of electric power engineering at the University of Pittsburgh's Swanson School of Engineering. Is there anything you don't do, Greg? <laughs> well, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you Thank here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be back, as when always. E when energy comes up, you're always the expert we turn to. And Are you surprised at the closing of Three Mile Island by 2019? I am a little bit. This is a little bit of a surprise announcement. It's, it's a very viable plant, uh, as you mentioned, and nuclear is a, a very viable part of our overall energy portfolio uh, in this country. I think they had 15 more years to go. Uh, absolutely. On the contract That's they're right. working under. 15 so. more years to go, and we could even look at life extension of some of these plants to keep them going longer because they have proven to be very reliable, very secure, and very economic forms of, of energy supply for in us. In some of the statements I read out of Three Mile Island, it seems as if they want more or something from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. What is it that they're looking for? Well, I think the way I understand it basically is that they're looking for more incentives in terms of financial incentives for their clean energy solution to what we're trying to move towards in terms of, you know, more sustainability in right. our energy resources. So there are a lot of incentives, financial incentives, to install wind and solar, for example, right now, uh, that are you know, provided by the government, both the state and the federal government. Right. And they're really looking for those same types of subsidies and incentives so for nuclear, nuclear power. power. Yeah, they feel nuclear power is not getting the same kind of support that those other clean energies are getting? That's right. And I believe they look at it as, you know, providing a, a fair playing field in terms of competing in the marketplace. And, and what's interesting is there, from what I understand, there is a little bit of precedent here. In, in the state of Illinois, this same issue came up where they were looking to shut down a plant and the state did come in and provided that because they looked at nuclear and decided that it really fell under an entire clean energy umbrella right. and that all clean energy should have certain subsidies and incentives right. to continue either operating or to be implemented newly like we're doing with right. wind and solar. Well, and, and this energy company, Exelon, is out of Chicago, out of, out of Illinois, right. so they're no right. doubt well aware of that. Well, let me just ask you just generally about the future of, of nuclear power. I had the opportunity to interview the Secretary of Energy, mm -hmm. Rick Perry, at the right. White House a few weeks back. And one of the first things he said to me was how important nuclear energy, and particularly Westinghouse, is to America. That, we, that if we lost Westinghouse, for example, if they were acquired by a foreign company, particularly Chinese, as I right. think the great concern, then America would lose a lot of know-how that's really important to this country. Is nuclear power still relevant? in our energy system? It is, and I agree completely with Secretary Perry. I think it is very critical that we keep Westinghouse here in America. So much of that history and that knowledge and all the capability, and it was built up right here in Pittsburgh, sure. of course. It's not only important for America, it's very important for our region and, and our energy viability. So to maintain security of our energy independence and our energy resources and the technology, I agree with that 100 percent. And, and so nuclear power is very important for this country. It, it makes up right now about 20 percent, a little less than 20 percent of our total energy portfolio. Oh, so, really? So it's higher than I think most people might think it's just one or two or three percent. Oh, no, it's, it, it's very significant. 20 percent of our electricity? Of our electricity power. generation comes from nuclear. And Pennsylvania is one of the largest producers of nuclear in the country. We have five plants. A right. total of, of uh, nine different reactors that up, add up to about 10,000 megawatts 
of electricity just out of Pennsylvania alone. So right. it's very significant. Well, there's always this question about the safety of nuclear power. Right. And I know in talking to Westinghouse officials in recent years, I mean, they are absolutely convinced that it is so much safer than it was 38 years ago when, sure. when Three Mile Island occurred. That's right. And if you look at the safety record in this country, Three Mile Island was really the only incident that we really had, you know, that, that had any type of, uh, you know, fallout to it of any kind and when I say fallout it wasn't even that we had a radioactive accident uh, right. of sorts and there wasn't a catastrophe in fact the systems that were put in place to protect and shut down an incident like that a misoperation that happened actually worked successfully so and if you look at the last you know 40 years in this country of, of nuclear operation uh, we have done it safely we we have done it efficiently and reliably and it's very important for grid stability we talk a lot about in your program about the grid and nuclear provides a very important base load generation for us it's not a variable resource like some of the right. new renewables that were you know so, very aggressively moving into the grid which we want to do so we, we only have about 15 but, seconds yeah. but the bottom line is that without nuclear energy we would not we we don't really have anything to replace it at the moment it you know Natural gas is a very viable solution to some of this, so we're seeing that ramp up, but these things are going to take time. Uh, where we place the new resources and to build infrastructure to move it there is very critical, and that's going to take some time. So it's important to keep the nuclear portfolio going. Well, Dr. Greg Reed, it's always a pleasure to have you on the Thank show. You, we John. get so much information from you and very much appreciate you taking the time to be with us. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank again. you, John. When the Sunday business page continues, the future.